In this video, I will attempt to demystify an idea that confuses many traders in all types of financial markets. I'm talking about the efficient market hypothesis, which states that prices reflect perfectly at all times the value of a financial instrument. The conclusion of this hypothesis is that it is impossible to trade profitable in the market using technical or fundamental analysis. The only thing that could generate wealth is insider information. The first problem with this idea is that it is only a hypothesis, so it's not even a theory that has withstood the necessary scientific tests. The other critic about the efficient market hypothesis is the sheer number of traders, fund managers and investors who consistently make money in the markets, which is something that completely renders the efficient market hypothesis obsolete in the practical point of view. Another way of looking at this is that traders and investors vary significantly in their subjective interpretation of the markets, and this variation is the underlying driver of the markets. For example, trader A and trader B might look at the same chart and arrive at different conclusions based on their analysis. They will act accordingly to their analysis, risk appetite and knowledge about the markets. The fact that there are many herds of traders and investors with similar trading techniques means that the markets can indeed be anticipated with enough knowledge about how things happen in the charts. Beyond that, a skilled trader is able to read the nuances behind price candles and identify the intentions of other traders. From that point, a whole context for a trading idea can be born. That's how traders make money in the markets. However, if we look at the efficient market hypothesis from a completely objective point of view, it makes sense because nominal price is always reflecting the current equilibrium between buyers and sellers. The essential point here is to understand that our perception of the markets is bidimensional. In other words, we have the nominal price, which is the objective dimension of the market, and we have the individual interpretation of value of this nominal price, which is the subjective dimension of the market. Once again, the main driver between price fluctuations is precisely the discrepancy between the objective and subjective dimensions of how people interpret the financial markets. The problem with the efficient market hypothesis is that it considers the market as only objective. Without a complete understanding of how to judge the subjective dimension of the market, it is indeed impossible to make money in the long term. However, high-quality technical analysis is all about detecting meaningful subjective fingerprints of important players in the market before anyone else. This is one of the reasons why understanding the mechanics of how market makers trade can be a deal-breaker in your trading career. If we look at the charts in a purely mathematical way, the manipulations employed by market makers are merely meaningless numbers on a chart, just like all other trading techniques. However, when we understand the intention behind these apparently meaningless numbers on the chart, we open the door of trading opportunities. This is true not only for market makers, but for any other technique you can use in the markets. It's all about reading intention behind price bars. This is one of the reasons why traders who keep looking for simple setups to trade end up failing in their attempts. Setups are entirely objective, so they just don't fit in a market that is objective and subjective. Embracing the subjective interpretation of the markets is not the most comfortable idea to a trader, but it is a practical necessity to reach any decent level of consistent profit generation. To sum things up, understanding that traders are intelligent enough to read behind price candles is the final nail in the coffin of the crude and merely objective view of the markets created by the efficient market hypothesis. I hope you learned something useful with this video. Don't forget to check out our other educational videos, subscribe to our channel, and leave your feedback below to support the channel. If you're interested in learning a strategy that enables you to see the subjective side of the markets in the correct way, check out our strategy store or send us an email at any time. Thank you for watching.